come to this uh, devotion again and the title is the Christian and his tongue usually uh, we use uh, our tongue to uh, taste food or whatever you know uh, but the tongue is very instrumental in uh, many ways but what we are talking about is uh, in relation to James 3 1 to 12 and so Reflecting on James uh, 3, 1 to 12, we ask this question. How should we use our tongue as an organ of speech? So you see, I'm speaking. So uh, as an organ of speech, how should we use our tongue as Christians based on our passage in James 3, 1 to 12? And the first one is this. We should use our tongue to teach the word of God. So that's uh, the first reflection based on our uh, passage. Let me read in uh, James 3, 1 uh, and 2. Not many of you should presume to be teachers, my brothers, because you know that we who teach will be judged strictly. We all stumble in many ways, if anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is a perfect man, able to keep his whole body in check. So James is very honest that uh, we use our tongue in teaching, but then sometimes we are imperfect. You know, uh, we are not perfect in all that uh, we say. So, you see, anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect right uh, and so the the uh, advice or the message of uh, James is that not many of you should become teachers my fellow believers because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly right there is more judgment to those who who teach the Word of God um, because uh, if you teach wrongly and then the people will listen to you and they will believe what is wrong teaching, right? Anyhow, the, the point here is that uh, we should be teaching the right doctrine, the right teaching. Uh, and so those who are teaching like me, I should uh, really teach the word of God, not myself, not anyone else, but focusing here and it should be rightly understood or interpreted so that the audience, the listeners, will understand the Word of God. Right? So, uh, we should use the Word of God. Uh, we should use our tongue to teach the Word of God. So, primar primarily, James was talking about the teachers, you know, uh, those who are uh, gifted by God to be teaching the Word of God. On a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, you know, uh, for example, in uh, in my case and those who are teaching during this devotion, you see, uh, week by week, we are teaching the Word of God. And so, primarily, this is uh, for us, you know, we will use our tongue to teach others. But then, in the secondary sense, all believers should also share whatever they learn from the Word of God, right? They can share to their children, to their friends, you know, when you listen something, you know, you heard something from the Word of God, you don't just keep it to yourself. You also share to others. So that's the secondary here. Uh, you can use your tongue to share God's Word to others, you know. Uh, you can still be say, uh, you can still uh, be considered as a teacher in a secondary sense, you know, not the primary teachers like us who teach you really, you know, but uh, you can share whatever you learn from the Word of God, or you go home, you share to your family, or you gather with your friends and you also share uh, whatever you learn from the Word of God, right? So we you should use our tongue, all right, to teach, to share the Word of God. And the second is this, we should use our tongue to praise the Lord right this is the passage you know in uh, uh, James 3 9 to 10 with the tongue 
we praise the Lord. And with it, we curse human beings who have been made in the image, uh, in the likeness of God. Out of the same mouth comes praise and curse. My brothers and sisters, we should not be. Right? So let's uh, focus first our attention to the use of our tongue in praising the Lord. Praising God. Hallelujah. God has given us this uh, organ of speech to praise the Lord. I remember uh, the time Jesus Christ was uh, walking uh, on towards uh, Jeru uh, Jerusalem there in the temple and children were uh, praising uh, Jesus Christ and uh, uh, even other people they were shouting Hosanna you know uh, to the king of uh, Kings, Hosanna, um, they're praising uh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and then uh, some of the teachers of the law, uh, the adults at the time, they were prohibiting the children. Oh, it's not, it's not right, you know, you don't, uh, you don't say like that. But Jesus Christ said, you know, uh, and then even uh, prohibiting Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus, uh, please stop them. Uh, and then Jesus Christ said, if they will stop, the stones will be shouting. You know, the stones will be shouting. You'll be praising me. Right? Uh, the point here is that, uh, you see, God has given us the, the organ of speech to praise the Lord. If we will stop praising the Lord, then even the stones will shout to praise the Lord because the Lord has to be lifted up in this world, in my life and in your life. Even in the midst of what is happening around, you know, there are many good things that the Lord is doing. And so, we need to lift up and praise the Lord. For example, when uh, we check now that the uh, the coronavirus uh, infections are going down in the Philippines and even all over the world. We say, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! We use our organs of speech to praise the Lord. If we are healed by the Lord, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! If we are blessed by the Lord, we respond, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! If we go to church, we worship with fellow believers singing songs of praise to the Lord. Hallelujah! So, God has given us this uh, organ of speech. To praise the Lord with our tongue we praise the Lord our God hallelujah so join me now in praising the Lord as we study his word we praise the Lord hallelujah then now uh, this is the third we should use our tongue to bless rather than curse others hey so the first use of our tongue based on our passage is to share the word of God the second is to praise the Lord and the third one is to bless rather than curse you see with the tongue we praise our Lord and Father and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness you see uh, out of the same mouth come praise and cursing my brothers and sisters they should not be now james was talking about the evil uh tongue here that uh, uh we curse other human beings in verse 5 likewise the tongue is a small part of the body but it makes great boasts right consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is also a fire, a world, uh, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. Right? You see, for those who are not regenerated, who are not... Uh, born again Christians they have no control of their mouth of their tongue they just uh, 
curse people, others who are made in human likeness. And sometimes Christians also are tempted to do like that, you know, to curse uh, others because you see, according to this, you know, the uh, tongue corrupts the whole person. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and creatures of the sea are being tamed and have been tamed by man. But no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. Right? No man can tame the tongue. No man. That's why we need the Lord to tame our tongue. The Lord can tame our tongue so that we will not curse others. We will use our tongue to praise, praise the Lord. We will use our tongue to share the word of God. And we will use our tongue to bless others and not to curse. The opposite of curse is bless. You see, the point of James is this should not be. Right? Talking to the Christians, my brothers and sisters, this should not be. Alright? It should not be that you curse your fellow man. Your fellow man made in the likeness of God. Made in the image of God. Every human being is to have this image of God. And especially your brother, your sister in the Lord. They are uh, regenerated. Uh, the Spirit of God is in them and then you are cursing them. According to James, this should not be. He is prohibiting using our tongue to curse others. Right? So instead of uh, cursing, we should bless others. Let me share this uh, word of uh, Paul in Romans uh, 12, 14. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. So even in the midst of the point of being persecuted, persecuted, you don't curse. You bless instead. And we have examples of examples like uh, Paul himself uh, who had been persecuted but he blessed. We have uh, uh, Jesus Christ who had been uh, uh, persecuted. He, he was crucified. No curse came out of uh, his mouth. But instead saying, Father, forgive them. You see, Followers of Jesus Christ can do that. Instead of cursing, we forgive, we bless. And so, this is the summary of uh, our uh, points based on James. As we reflect on James 3, 1 to 12, we should use our tongue as an organ of speech for the following. To teach others of the Lord and His Word. To praise God and to bless rather than curse our fellow man. Right? Now, in Luke 6, 45, Jesus Christ said, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I like this uh, illustration, you see. Uh, whatever comes out of the mouth, comes from the heart. It is plugged in. So whatever is in the heart, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If we are, uh, uh, whatever in the heart, then we will speak. Let me share some uh, uh, points. Like, If Jesus Christ is in the heart, and we are nourished by Jesus Christ, by His Spirit, who is in our heart, then Jesus Christ will come out from our mouth. You know, we will share Jesus Christ to others. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. All His, his wonderful passion and purity, all those spirit divine, all my nature refined, till the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. Right? Uh, let Jesus Christ be seen in me that people will, will, will uh, see Jesus Christ in my life, even in my speech. So, my point here is that uh, 
we should keep on thinking and loving and meditating about Jesus Christ. And if Jesus Christ is not in our life, let's believe in Him. Let's receive in Him in our lives so that uh, Jesus Christ be in us and we can share Jesus Christ to others. We will uh, praise Jesus Christ because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us so that love will come out from our mouth rather than cursing. The love of God has been poured in our hearts. No one can tame the tongue. No, no man can tame the tongue, but God can. See, uh, if we receive the love of God in our lives, if we receive the embrace of God, the love of God in our lives, our heart can feel it and love will come out from our heart, our, our, our mouth. See, and so uh, we should be constantly, you know, meditating on the love of God, you know, uh, in our lives and experiencing His love by His Holy Spirit so that love will come out from our mouth rather than cursing. Then we should meditate on God's Word, on the Word of God, so that uh, the Word of God will come out from our mouth in our praises, in our blessing of others. The Word of God will come out, you know. We will grow in the Word so that this will be the one coming out in our teaching, in our sharing, right? So uh, you cannot give what you don't have. That's why we need to study, meditate on the Word of God so that this will be the one coming out from our mouth. Uh, maybe you experience, you know, the uh, bad words from others, sometimes from your parents, from uh, those who are uh, telling uh, bad words uh, to you. Uh, and sometimes you are also tempted to say bad words to others, just like uh, I heard the, 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 the comment uh, of the Israelites or the Jewish people now in, uh, uh, in Israel. Uh, they experience the pain, the suffering, the persecution, the killings of the uh, Germans so that they have this bitterness. So when they went to Palestine, uh, some of the soldiers also, you know, those who experience like that in their in their heart, there's bitterness, and so they also uh, persecuted the Palestine, killed the Palestinians, Palestinians, and so it, it goes on because this is what they receive. But if you receive the law, you know, then th that that will be the one coming out from your mouth, from your uh, from yourself. If you, you, you meditate on the Word of God, then that will be the one coming out from your, your mouth, from your tongue, right? Uh, if you meditate on Jesus Christ, then Jesus Christ, will, the beauty of Jesus Christ will be reflected in, in your life, right? So that's uh, the message today, and I pray that uh, whatever you experience, uh, God will pour out His heart, love upon you uh, and His Spirit. And that you will meditate on Jesus and His Word. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, Lord, for reminding us of uh, uh, the gift of speech that you have given to us. That you have given us uh, our tongue instead of cursing others to bless others. Thank you for the opportunity to praise your Father. And help us to continue to praise you, to worship you with our tongue. And help us also to share to others your word by your grace. And to all who are listening, we pray that uh, you cover us with your love and care and protection. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless.